Hello friends, it's a Costco shopping day. After a week away, we gotta restock the refrigerator and the pantry, and today is the last day I have Everett home with me. Tomorrow he starts Go. going to kindergarten tomorrow, you guys. So I figured we'd sneak in one last Costco trip with Everett before he goes to school. Enjoy after school. Yeah, maybe. maybe he can sneak in some shopping trips after school sometimes. We'll make sure to make that happen. So let's get shopping. <laughs> One thing I needed to find today was glue sticks. As I've been getting the last of the back to school stuff, um, they're scented, they have glitter in them, and they're purple. And I just need regular glue sticks, and they are so hard to find. I'm gonna have to order some, I guess. We might have some. What? We might have some. I guess I'll have to check and see if we have some. Yeah. Because I can't find them at any store right now locally. Scented glue sticks. Like, kids do not need to be sniffing their glue stick. No, thank you. Starting to get Christmas items. Slimy slant sand. That's a no for me. I don't like anything slime. Mag formers, these are a yes. If you need grandkid ideas, yes, these are the best. I, Love those, huh? I want them back up. Today. Yeah, we could bring them up. And the Halloween stuff. What do you think of those? Three for the song. A three for the song, okay. Uh, the scariness, five. Okay. I mean an eight, and the scariness. The weirdness, a, a five. A five for weirdness. Yeah. And the loudness, a six. Loudness, a six, okay. Christmas trees, we did get our Christmas tree last year. We really were happy with it. Uh, Lots of Legos. And if we find something. Some Nerf guns. Ice cream. Squish collection. Oh. Unicorn sweet shop. Oh, that's kind of fun. You paint all the different little figurines. Oh, and then they have a dinosaur one for $20. I like that. No one's over. Sure. Ever wants to go inside the tent. This is kind of like a, this is a six person outfitter tent. It feels like a garage. Yeah. Can stand up in it. Yeah. Kind of cool. Winter reindeer hiding back here for $279. And for $50, a set of three gnomes. Oh, gnomes are kind of like out. What was that? Gnomes are kind of like elf, but different name and don't look for Santa Claus. <laughs> Interesting. A big snowman with LED lights for $269. And oh! I also have some Christmas wreaths, $64.99. Have I have bought their garland here before and really liked it. And these, but these are a little different than the ones I got. These ones are. $64.99. That seems a bit more expensive than when I bought them. I'm gonna buy some of this. $6.69. Oh, baby or kitty Luna came with us today. Scratch under her chin. <laughs> oh, it's Everett, not Luna. Okay, grab some nine grain bread. $8.59. Hmm, I'd like to get these. They're perfect to give the boys for lunches because they're smaller. $5.99. Oh, these MV apples are $7.99, making them $1.99 a pound. Uh, this is a uh, sock. And I, 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 we are using the for back to school. We are using these Hawaiian rolls to make sandwiches and then we put them in the freezer and by the time the kids get them out at lunch, they're perfect. So I'm gonna buy some and restock the freezer with sandwiches. Back to school sandwiches. Mouth sandwiches. I think I'm gonna get two. I've had really bad luck with tomatoes lately. They just keep going bad before we, like right away when I get them home. I need to be better at looking at them. They are $7.99 or $1.99 a pound. $6.99 for the peppers. Right what are you saying? The simple right over there. Okay, we'll go get it in just a minute. Let's go do it through here. No going through that. The corner. We have
have to one last time no. do it for your fans no. endure the cold no. oh, I'm gonna die. you're gonna die okay i'm gonna look at these mangoes they look maybe they're good 10.99 or a dollar 83 a pound mangoes are bennett's favorite so when they're not too bad of price i like to grab them for him Die. You've never died yet. Ooh, grapes are on sale. Six forty-nine. Ooh, there's moldy ones. All right, this is usually where my spring mix is and my spinach. Let's see. Sprout. I think we lost Everett. He froze. <laughs> Baby cucumbers. Never seen those before. They're kind of fun. $6.99. Sorry, I gotta do another round. I need lettuce since this is all they have. It's just been raining so much, our lettuce really isn't growing anymore. So $5.99 for five. But I'm really so sad about not having spinach. I'll have to get some at the grocery store. <laughs> Bring me out of in that slight second, I would be gone forever. You were gonna freeze and be gone forever. I'm glad, I'm glad we made it out. All right, let's grab some bananas. Yeah, like a year. Two ninety nine. You thought we were what? I yeah, felt like a year dead. <laughs> I did go around twice looking for stuff. Get some muffins. I'm gonna get some bagels for another type of sandwich that the boys can take. So, so what, we can get uh, those ones. Let's get these ones. And those ones. And do you want the raisin ones? No, I want those. Those are just very plain. I want plain. Okay, we'll try plain. Just trying to come up with different options for sandwiches so they're not, they don't get burned out after one week of having sandwiches every day. So, trying some different make-ahead options. Yeah, big little sandwich. Ooh, these nectarines smell really good. That one's got writing on it. Not sure why that happened. $12.99. Once all the boys are in school, I need to do some rearranging of bedrooms. So I gotta come back for one of these. And luckily, luckily right now they have a ton of box springs, but I need to bring the big van and probably no Everett to be able to get all the stuff that I need to get for that project. All right, I'm gonna get a chicken for $4.99. No, sir. It's okay. I already touched it. I don't, I'm not going to put it back, but it was burning my fingers. What do you see? Sample ahead. What was that? Sample ahead. Sample ahead. Okay. Aww. It's a chicken and mozzarella ravioli. She's making some more. We are the first one. It might be warm. Hey, what do you say? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. There's another one on this side. Okay, we'll find it. It's a little bit spicy. Thank you. You're welcome. Need some cheese for sandwiches. Grabbing this manchego cheese. It's from Spain. Mark asked me to grab some to share with the young men at church. They're doing a little learn about places around the world and cheese tasting. Grab some ham. It's five sixty nine a pound. I try and get the biggest one I can find. 
I think I'm gonna grab two this time because I'm gonna make a bunch of sandwiches. Uh, that was as a drink. Oh, is it spicy? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know if we... Maybe eat that other uh, ravioli. That might help you. You breathe in fire? Your breath feels hot. Breathe in fire from the salsa. Here we have almond butter and strawberry jam. Okay, I'll have that while you're... Okay. Thank you. I really need some food. I ran out of my peanut butter powder this morning, but I'm not seeing it. Kind of striking out on a few things today. They do have a lot of new furniture in. For you, how says that I want to move into a house? Really hard to talk after you eat nut butter. It's like stuck to the roof of my mouth. <gasps> this is ice cream. That'll that'll cool down your yeah. mouth. Get some after. Okay. Would you like chocolate? Yeah. Rocky Road to Hana or? Wait, Rocky Road. Rocky that Road. Salted Road. caramel. Ready, what, what do you caramel? say? What's caramel? Well, this is, that's the Rocky Road. Here, you want to try the caramel? All right, you get. You get four pints in there for fifteen seventy-nine. Thank you. This looks yummy. These are new. Strawberry, mango, and coconut for $11.49 for $24. Oh, they have a sample of those too. It's your lucky day. $11.49. These are the perfect samples for you after your mouth was on fire. I've been having some camera issues, so I don't know what I've shown and what has been cut off, but Everett has quite the smorgasbord here of things to eat and his mouth was on fire from the salsa, so two different kinds of ice cream and a popsicle was the perfect antidote to that, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, the Mexican pop popsicle was my favorite. Coconut, delicious. The macadamia milk ice cream has a very different texture, more of an icy texture than a smooth ice cream texture. The flavor was good, but it was a different weird texture to me. We need go for your lunchbox. Yogurt. Watch out. Oh, that's not good. $15.99 for a two pack of cheese. Pretty good. It's coconut water. This one's kind of sweet. Try some? Alright. Yeah. Alright. You get 18 of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's quite sweet to you. You got to kind of gotten get used to it after a while. It Thank took you. Me a while, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> That's okay. You don't have to like everything. Yep, at least you tried it. Sorry, I didn't hear your question. What was it? You can actually like open coconuts to get coconut water? I think so, but I think the machine does it. Or maybe human just use a hammer or something. Maybe. Break it open. Everett needs a few new shirts. $12.99 for three shirts. Oh, these ones are so cute. I know I've looked at these before, but just been noticing his clothes. A lot of them have holes in them after the summer. And he's getting tall, so they show his belly. Waited too long. They don't have his size anymore. Corn tortillas, two fifty nine. We are getting back into the schedule of the boys making dinner one night a week. Weston made spaghetti last night. Bennett wants to make enchiladas, so I gotta make sure I get the things that he needs for that. So I came all the way to the back. We gotta get sour cream and corn tortillas. I make made a little hot pocket. Pocket. Hot pocket. Little hot pocket, alright. With a chick nugget. Yeah. Not too bad? Ooh. Ah. Strawberry jam. Everett loves jam. But only strawberry jam. You love lots of kinds of jam. You like raspberry jam. Sh strawberry jam is the best. They have not had the women's wool socks forever and I am in desperate need of some new wool socks. So I'm gonna try these 
weatherproof vintage. They don't feel quite as thick as these ones and that's my problem. I want them to be a little thinner. So I'm gonna give these a try. Costco, please bring back your women's wool socks. Please, please. My mom really needs them. <laughs> Every time I put them on, they, they have a new hole in them, so I have to throw them away. Um, something has happened here. What? Where are the books? Right over there. There's no book section. What happened? Huh? How strange is that? Yeah. We're not here for a week and a half and they move everything really around. Over there, maybe? We'll have to keep an eye out, but I don't see any. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe. Maybe they just don't have any books right now. Grab some mandarin oranges, $12.79, $7.89. Pepperonis are on sale. I'm gonna grab a package of those, $8.89. I do feel like I need to do a stock up trip, but today is not the day. Today's focus is kind of getting things for school lunches. And then once I'm shopping by myself, I can do focus more on a stock up trip. I've never seen these before. Chocolate, vanilla, and hazelnut. Loker mini wafers. Where are they from? From Italy. It's be fun to throw in the kids' lunches. Oh, I've bought these before, made with real Canadian maple syrup. So yummy. Ten sixty nine for that box. You need to take something to school. Do you want to take animal crackers? It has to be some sort of crackers. I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to try to find them on that aisle. On the side of this aisle. Where do I can get my cracker? Let's go look over here. Oh, now we have these to try too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Little waffles. Oh, yeah. hey, I tried it. So you could get Ritz crackers. Uh -huh. I could get Triscuits. No. You could get maybe? Wheat Thins. These yeah. ones. Maybe though. No. That's a or not? It is, but I don't know if kids would like those. I might be able to get that. Saltines. Goldfish. I might be able to get those if it's a cracker. That's about it. What do you, did any of those mm -hmm. seem like something you'd want? Any, any other crackers? Might be crackers. Animal crackers. Graham crackers. Cheez-Its. Last one. S'mores. No, but they're just going to be handed out in class. You're not going to get any. Cheez-Its. You want Cheez-Its? Cheez-Its. Okay, these are $8.89. Everett's going to take him to his class for a snack. Church. $9.99. Grab some more cashews. $16.39. Having the boys some... $10.99. Here's our basket for today. Not really overflowing today. How much do you think we spent? Uh, $86. $86? Or... I wish. Wait, $89, $85, or $86. That would be really, really awesome. Or I, my guess is more like $329. Um, one more gets for me. Uh, 300, hot, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 4,000. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dad, my feet are low. I don't so. even know what that number is you just said. An eight million I sure hope it's five. not that much. The rain came while we were inside. Oh, we 
We are on a bit of a time crunch today because we have to pick up the older boys from school. We do not have any bus service right now. They say they have 50 new bus drivers training, but we do not have any bus service at all. So we gotta get back to Eagle River to pick them up. But if you stick around to the end of the video, I will show you the different sandwiches that I'm making and freezing, which have been working excellent for my boys when it comes to making lunches in the morning. So stick around to the end if you wanna see that, but we'll get home, we'll show you the haul and tell you the total of today's Costco purchase. We made it home, got everything upstairs. If you're new here, our kitchen is on the top floor of our house, so we have to haul everything up the stairs. We are also a hunting and fishing family, so you will not see us buy very much protein, even though we do eat at home 99% of the time. So the majority of our protein is harvested and we just buy a little bit here and there, like a Costco chicken, some lunch meat. Let's get to the haul. Started with these go-gurts, some cheese for sandwiches, we like our boys to be included in making dinners. So I asked them on Sunday what meals they wanted to make this week. And Bennett said enchiladas. So I got him tortillas and sour cream. And then I grabbed the rest of the ingredients at the grocery store today. I also grabbed two gallons of milk. These were $3.99 at the grocery store. It's over $9 for two gallons at Costco. So it is a little bit cheaper to buy the milk at the grocery store. Not a ton cheaper, but a little bit. I grabbed two of these hams to make a bunch of sandwiches ahead of time. Pepperonis, I like these in my salads. And the boys also like to make little pizzas or quesadillas with pepperoni on them. Some cheese. This Costco chicken will be shredded and used for the enchiladas, but we'll also make a soup out of it with the vegetables that are left in our garden. We, we still have some cauliflower, we still have celery, cabbage. It's all gonna make an excellent soup. Grab some romaine lettuce. The lettuce in our garden is not really growing anymore. Too rainy, sweet peppers. These little baby cucumbers, cause they didn't have the big cucumbers, so I just went for it. These are awesome. I think they'll be great for dipping into things and salads and all sorts of stuff. Tomatoes, apples for sharing, apples for lunches nectarines, mangoes for after school snacks, bananas for smoothies and just eating. Several of my children will eat multiple bananas a day. Black beans, two new packages. We eat a lot of black beans around here. We also will soak and cook our own beans, but sometimes if we're short on time for dinner prep, the canned black beans come in really handy. Mandarin oranges for my favorite Asian salad and some manchego cheese from Spain. Cashews are also for my favorite salad. Also one of my favorite snacks. Grab some haichus. The kids told me they ran out of multivitamins. The doctor wanted to make sure that they were getting vitamin D because we are getting into the dark season. I might have to go find an additional vitamin D because this is not enough for what he said they need, but it is starting to get darker and darker. And in Alaska, we get to a point where we get very little sunlight. So we wanna make sure we're getting some vitamin D. I thought these would be kind of fun to stick in the boys' lunches. Little wafers. I'm gonna try out these socks and Cheez-Its for Everett to take to his kindergarten class. Over here, I bought more bread products than I think I've ever bought, but these have been making awesome sandwiches that stay good in the freezer. This will be just for toast and regular bread. I'm gonna make these into peanut butter and jelly Uncrustables. And I'm gonna make these into some little different sandwiches too, or the boys can eat them for breakfast. You may notice that I didn't really buy anything in the freezer section today. I have a big freezer organizing project coming up. I cannot wait to show you guys. I think it's gonna be amazing. Um, hunting season is coming right around the corner. I need to get my freezer situation worked out because right now it's a mess, you'll see it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so that you know when new videos come out because if you're into organizing projects, food storage projects, I'm gonna have a good video coming up for you 
real soon on organizing our freezer before hunting season. I gotta find my receipt, and I'm wondering if Luna is locked in a room somewhere because she hasn't come to check out the groceries, and that's really weird. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for her too so we can say hi to Luna, our cat. Found Luna and the receipt. Hello, Luna. You're not interested in the groceries today? Our grand total today is $304.16. This is one of our smaller Costco hauls. I'm not sure why. We have a few snacky things left over from summertime and the boys are not gonna be home eating every hour on the hour. So I just didn't feel like I needed quite as many things. $304. This is always a good sight. Full fruit bowls. We have a barbecue tonight for back to school night at our kids' school. So I'm gonna spend this time, instead of dinner prep, I am going to make these sandwiches for the freezer. Have you been enjoying the Hawaiian sandwiches? Yes, yes you really like them, huh? And then I'm gonna make these into peanut butter and jelly. Sometimes when I'm not at school, I'd, I heated them up and, and for a minute and the cheese was melted in. So he's been eating them at home too. Heat it in the microwave. Anyways. I'm gonna make like a little assembly line here. I am gonna keep one thing of rolls because I wanna try a sandwich that goes, a big sandwich that goes in the oven sometime, probably this weekend. But other than that, I'm going to turn them into sandwiches. Hey Westy, I need you to come do your math. I got the idea to make these freezable sandwiches off of a lady on Instagram. One of my concerns was that the sandwiches would be soggy. The boys have tried them for a week at school and reported back that they are not soggy at all and that they are perfectly thawed by lunchtime. While they do take a little time to prepare, I love how easy they make our morning lunch prep. So I'm going to keep making them until they tell me they are sick of them. When the sandwiches are all assembled and cut, I put them in sandwich bags to pop them in the freezer. The older three boys like two sandwiches while I know Everett will only eat one since lunchtime is so short. So I pack him single sandwiches. Well, that's a lot of sandwiches. All nice and ready to go. It looks like a lot, but it's only gonna last seven days with four kids. So not really a lot, but it'll be nice to have I'm gonna get them in the freezer and then we're gonna try the Uncrustables. I've never tried them before, so we're gonna see how those go. I've never made these before. I just ordered this on Amazon and there is gonna be a little bit of crust left over when I um, cut them out. I'm gonna put them in a bag and make them into like a French toast uh, casserole because we don't wanna waste all this good bread even though it'll just be crust. We're gonna try this out. I just think it'll be nice and fun and you know, the perfect size little sandwich. So let's, I'm gonna try it on one, and then if it goes well, we'll keep going. I think we probably need to put a thin layer of peanut butter on both sides in order to not have it leak. And this is our homemade raspberry jam. This is pretty much what we use around here unless somebody sends us some different jam or if we were ever to run out, we would buy more jam, but uh, I make a lot of it. Don't know exactly how to use it. Maybe turn it like this. Aha! I look so good. Wanna try it? Should we eat it? Let's yeah. try it to see if it's good. Hold on, hold on. So good. Mm. It's like a jelly type. That's like really good. You like it? Mm -hmm. With Weston's seal of approval, I kept working on the Uncrustable sandwiches. These are also going into the freezer for lunches. I was happily surprised by how little peanut butter and jelly was actually needed to make a really nice pocket. I just thought these would be fun for lunches since my boys have never really had Uncrustables. I feel like these are a little bit healthier making them with wheat bread and our homemade jelly. 
If you're new around here, this is Bennett, my second son, and he loves cooking. So any new kitchen gadget, he wants to try it out. So he came and had a turn testing it out and then was happy to eat his sandwich. Okay, round one is done. I'm gonna put these in the freezer and then I'm gonna do this loaf of bread as well. It's excellent, the thing works excellent. The only problem is this bread is a little bit too small, so some of them have a little bit of a leaky edge that the piece of bread was a little bit tucked in, but you know, homemade jam, wheat bread, a little bit better than the store-bought version and great in the freezer for them to pull out. So I feel like this is a win. Okay, the little trick that I realized is that you cut it and you pinch it and then you flip it over and you pinch it again. That way you get a good crimp on both sides. So I cut it and crimped it and now I'm clipping it over and crimping it again. After a few days, I pulled out the scraps of bread to try and make an overnight French toast casserole. It was a hit with everyone for breakfast and none of the bread got wasted. I will include the link to the recipe in the description below. Thank you so much for being here. We are so grateful for each and every one of you that chooses to spend time with us. Really, we're so grateful. We love you and we'll see you again real soon for more of This Alaska Life.